In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own electricity smart meter using nothing but a PuckJS device and a light dependent resistor. You'll be able to connect to it from your phone and get a page showing you your current electricity usage as well as historical usage over the last few days. The first step is to take your PuckJS to pieces and then to drill a hole using the top left indent of the case. You can get spare cases quite easily and cheaply, so there's no need to worry about damaging your device. Then get your light dependent resistor and put it in pins D1 and D2 in PuckJS and assemble the PuckJS together with the back case to make sure that everything's lined up properly. Next, place the PuckJS down on the table and solder pins D1 and D2. If you don't want to solder, you can still make a good contact by looping the wires through the smaller set of holes that are right next to D1 and D2. To attach your PuckJS to the electricity meter, just use a piece of double sided tape with a hole cut in it for the light sensor. I'm using VHB tape here. To finish off the hardware, simply take the PuckJS PCB, put it in the black case, put the silicon cover around it, and then put the double sided tape around the light sensor. Next, we'll connect to PuckJS with a web IDE. We're going to set up D1 to be ground and D2 to be a pull up resistor, which will counter the changing resistance of the light sensor. Then we use setWatch, which will call our function whenever the state changes. And at the moment, we're just going to light the LED up um, to, to show us what the state is. So you can see it's working quite nicely here. The next step is going to be to count the number of changes. And to do this efficiently, we're going to change our watch so that it only happens on the falling edge of the signal rather than both edges of the signal. So instead of just setting the state, we're going to pulse the LED and we'll set edge colon falling. And obviously we increment the counter. So when we upload now, you'll see the counter zero, but if I lift it and put it down a few times and check the counter, we'll see that the counter's increasing. By itself, that's not very useful, but we can very easily add some code to broadcast that information over Bluetooth Low Energy. So the code here is setting a 32-bit value for counter and we're also setting the name up to be a PuckJS followed by an emoji of a lightning symbol for high voltage. We're sending the manufacturer data and changing the interval just to save a little bit of power. So now let's upload the code and see what happens. We're using NRF Connect on the phone to show the Bluetooth data that's sent and you can see here that every time it flashes the manufacturer data is now increasing. When you're happy with the code, attach it to your electricity meter just make sure that the light sensor is as closely lined up with the light as you can manage. While you can use the meter provided by your electricity company, you can also use DIN mount meters like this one. This cost around £10 off eBay and it's still got the same flashing light that you can attach your PuckJS to. You can then measure the power usage of individual devices as well. Please check out the link at the bottom of this video for more information, as well as for the code that was used for the dashboard that we showed at the start. Thanks for watching. If you like this, please subscribe, check out the videos on the rest of the channel and have a look at esprino.com for loads more fun microcontroller projects.